What disappoints me and makes me cringe the most? It's men hypocritically shaming other men and getting off on it like schoolgirls. I just don't like it. When a guy is demoralized, he's ashamed, he knows what he's done wrong and has the courage to be honest about it and wants to move on and be better. And all he gets from a lot of other men, seemingly who appear to be on the side of women, is shame. You know why this feels childish to me? It's because it stops guys trying to have the courage to do what they know is right in the future and what is worthwhile to them. That requires an element of calculated risks and to strive to do it again, try again, try differently. And most of the time, these things offer no guarantees aside from doing things better and different to what you did them before because what you want to do is worthwhile to you. These arrogant dude bros obtusely ignore the reality that these things don't always work out when you try, regardless of how much you plan, and that one day these guys may have need of this type of understanding from men should they fail too. You know what it is? These guys who think themselves clever by avoiding any risk or adventure in life, they think to themselves, well, I'll never need forgiveness or compassion in the future from others because I'll never ever try anything but the hamster wheel of certainty. For example, would you make fun of Elon Musk if one of his businesses failed? I mean, a lot of his businesses and ventures failed. And just because you haven't lost anything like he has, or tried anything, or risked anything like he has, here is the short-sighted cringe, cringe that I see many men growing up in a woman's world today. Without fathers or male mentors, I see a generation of men raised by women and who are afraid of those women. The glee with which guys pile on other guys, like schoolgirls, while at the same time complaining that no one has any sympathy for men. It's so hypocritically dumb. The same guys that talk about the unfairness of how guys are shamed today in society are the shaming men themselves. These guys need mirrors, I swear. Just because a guy has made mistakes with women or life in general, and they can never undo those mistakes because you can't go back in time. For example, there are guys who have to live with not seeing their kids at all and then being raised by some other dude. Or some guy just waited till old age to have the courage to live and, you know, do what he always wanted to do and speak the words he always wanted to speak. And the only advice these meme dude bros give is don't make mistakes, loser. Be perfect. This isn't mentoring. This isn't intelligent. It's unconstructive shaming. Look, I for one will respect a guy who owns his honest mistakes and has the humility to accept it and move forward with self-reflection. But the dude bros who insist on other men being perfect and making no mistakes whatsoever, lest they pile onto them, it's conditioning men not to even try unless they can have a perfect outcome. Because anything other than a perfect outcome on a man's first try will have you thrown into the fire by not just women, typically, but by women's male pets today as well. Stop pretending to care, please. Because many of you meme guys out there may experience the same misfortune as these guys you're making fun of in the future. Had you been unlucky enough to pick the same kind of wrong woman as the guy you're making fun of. Some guys are just one date, or let's be frank, the only date, away from the nightmare that they laugh other men have found themselves in. I'd say to these guys, stop pretending with your platitudes to care about these issues when all you're doing is being entertained by other people's pain and heartbreak like schoolgirls. You know, some guys take this stuff seriously and it's important to them and they want to have an intelligent conversation much more intelligently than your one-trick pony glib solution of no marriage, no kids, no cohabitation mantra that completely disregards an individual man who desires a different life to you. It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. Mantra type dude bros are only looking for safe mirrors, echo chambers. They're not looking for an intelligent, empathic conversation where both parties might come away learning something and being better. Even if you don't respect some guy's decisions or cringe at their drunk love mistakes, have some manners, guys, and grow up, please. 
not just for them, but for you too. You may need it later. Let me leave a final thought with you. You know how men don't forget women who've treated them badly in society over the last couple of decades, and then later in life, a lot of us men show them little sympathy because those same women were arrogant in their youth? Well, with guys too, if you have the need for understanding, forgiveness, or support in the future from your fellow man, don't scratch your head like many hypocritical women do today as to why men have abandoned you too. Stop burning bridges and thinking yourself brave. Think about how you're conducting yourselves today, gentlemen. Good to chat with you again. Later. Bye. Hey, human here. I put out videos every week, so please, please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.